So after Cartesian coordinates, now let us uh, see the next important part of SQL, which is aggregate queries. This is a pretty important topic. So in this case, uh, in this topic, we'll see how we can group certain correct uh, attributes of a table together and then performs group operations on them. So for example, the easiest uh, example of this could be, so uh, say again we have an instructor table with ID, name, department and salary. Now suppose we want the sum of the total, the total salaries of all the instructors. So the way to do it is to use a select sum clause, sum on all the of all the salaries from instructor. If we wanted the average of all the salaries, we could simply have used AVG of salary. So these are called group uh, group operations, the average or the sum operation because they operate on the entire set of rows uh, or in this table. Now let us say we want the average salary of only those uh, instructors who are in the CS department. So we will say select average salary from instructor where department is equal to CS. So this will give us the average salary of CS department. Now let us say we want the average salary of all the departments. So we want something the result to look like something uh, department and average salary. So in this case, we will first have to group all the departments separately and then uh, select the average salary of each of the departments. So what we do is we write a query. So SQL has the option of uh, specifying the group by clause group by department department name. So in this case what the SQL query will do is it will first saw, uh, pick out all the instructors of different departments separately and for each of the department for each of the group it will apply this operator and it will give us the average salary and department name of each of the departments. So the result will look something like CS department, this is the average salary, say elect department, this is the average salary. So this is how group by clause are used in SQL. Now uh, suppose we want only those departments, to select only those departments whose average salary is greater than 10,000. So in the same query, uh, after, we can also write having average salary greater than 10,000. Now the important point to note here is that this having clause is executed after the result of this query is obtained. So after we get the department name and average salary of all the departments, this, uh, this part filters uh, our result to only those departments whose average salary is greater than 1000. Now if we have uh, wanted to select uh, only those, uh, select the, find the average salary of only those instructors whose salary is greater than 1000. So in that case, we would first have to Uh, uh, shortlist to only those instructors whose salary is greater than 10,000 and then perform the group by operation. So this will first uh, select those instructors whose salary is greater than 10,000 and then perform the group by operation and uh, find the average salary of each of the groups. Now. Let us say, uh, let us see the uh, for some examples of some special SQL uh, clauses. So, the first one is the in clause. So,
so let us say we want again uh, the salary of all the instructors uh, the, the name of all the instructor whose salary is greater than 10000 so one way to do is it is a simple sql query the other way to do it could have been select name from instructor where name is in now uh, the argument of the in clause, after the in clause, we'll have another SQL query and uh, uh, after the, uh, when the execute, during the execution time, the query inside the brackets is executed first and then only those the names, only those attributes are selected who have a value in this uh, in the result of this query. So for example, suppose this uh, query is some different kind of query some kind of query which results as three names say A, B and C. Originally say this name could have been say A to Z, any of these names. It will first check if the name A is present in the result of this query. It is. So it will be present in the output as well, result as well. Similarly B and C will also be present in the result. D will no, is not present in this uh, the result of this query. So D will not be in the output. So this is the in clause. Similarly, we would have had not in. In this case, we, it would check if the uh, value is present in the result or not. If it is not present in the result, only then is it uh, given as the output. Similarly, uh, there is and the exists clause so let us say uh, we want to check if uh, there is any instructor who takes a course in uh, the fall semester so we will say select name from instructor where exists where exists uh, a semester select star from semester where sem id is fall and teacher id is equal to uh, name this name this name so this will first uh, select check if there any is there uh, is there any sem in which the teacher takes uh, if there any false sem in which teacher takes a course in this teacher takes a course if there is then the result of this query will not be null so, and if this is not null, then the name will be printed out. The name will be printed in the output. So, essentially, uh, as part of the exist clause, what happens is first the part inside the clause is executed, then it is checked if the result of the query is null or not. If the result is null, then that value is not selected. If the result is not null, if there is at least one row in this uh, 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 the result of this SQL query then our, uh, the result is uh, selected for the output. So now, let us see what are join operations. So, the most common join operation is the natural join. Say, we have two tables, one of which is student, who has an ID and a name and an Enroll table who has an ID of a student who takes a particular course. Now, if we want the uh, a result table to look like the ID of a student, the name of the student, and the course ID which that student has taken, suppose we want such a result, then we should use we will use a natural join operation. 
and we will write something like select star from student natural join enroll so what this will do is so there are three possible students so three students one two three with the name a b and c and student one has taken course cs 101 and cs 102 and uh, student two has taken the course also taken the course cs 101 so the result of the join operation would be something like one a cs 101 This is this is the ID the ID column is the column column in both of the two tables. It will check if this ID value is correct in this uh, table. If yes, then both the rows are selected. So this uh, this value is present in two rows. So this will be selected twice. And similarly, this value is present once. So this will be selected only once. And since this value is not present in this table, this value will not appear uh, in the output. So this is a natural join operation. 